Hi guys, today we're gonna to be testing out some of the new products from the uh, new, I would say new, is it really new though in the makeup world? It's probably been out for like a month now, collection from Flower Nose, and I bought all of these products myself. Um, I did get, the first time I tried the brand, I got a PR package from them and I haven't received anything since. So I don't know if maybe they didn't like my video, they don't care anymore. <laughs> I've been loving their products and I've just been buying them because I think they're amazing. So. We're gonna be testing out the new collection, like I said. And this is called the, let's see, Moonlight Mermaid Series. There are a couple of products in the collection that I didn't end up picking up because there were just a lot of things and like, you know, I, I don't need all of it. So I picked out one of kind of like each product that I wanted to test out. So I'm gonna show you this stuff before we get into trying them on. So the one that I'm the most excited about is the eyeshadow palette. I mean, their attention to detail when it comes to packaging, like I am not doing this any justice whatsoever because it is, so beautiful like it feels really nice and like heavy to hold but it doesn't feel plastic even though it is plastic it doesn't feel like cheap plastic and it's just this is so pretty like look at that I will say a lot of their palettes look very very like same same it's usually like some neutral mattes with a couple of like pops of shimmers but there was something about this color story that just speaks to me and I don't know if it's because I am probably way behind when it comes to trends but i remember was it maybe five years ago now where like neutrals with a pop of blue was all the rage and i was over here like i'm so bored but now i'm like oh neutrals with a pop of blue sign me up <laughs> so when i saw this i was like this is so exciting i can't wait to use this and so that's the one that i picked up there are i think four other palettes in the same series as well i will of course link the website down below if you want to go check anything out um, I'm not affiliated with the brand at all. I don't think I have a code with them. Maybe I have a code with them. I don't know. It'll be down below in my description box if I do, but I don't think I do. I could be wrong though. Um, I also ended up picking up one of the blushes. Oh, the shade for the palette or the name of this is Moonlight Land. So it's the number five palette in the collection. I also ended up picking up one of the blushes, which again, the packaging is just so freaking stunning. Like no matter what I do, it's not gonna really do it justice. Here's the color of this one. It's kind of like an ombre, sort of orange to pink. It's really hard to like show off the color accurately, but like the imprint in the pan and everything is just so beautiful. They also sent me a blush brush as like a gift with purchase. They do that a lot. They send like little extra things. They also sent me a hair clip, which I don't know where that is, but it's a nice little touch to open a package and be like, oh, free product, you know? I also ended up getting one of the lip products. And again, this is a beautiful, beautiful packaging. This is a sort of sheer-ish gloss. I put it on just kind of like briefly when I first got it because I wanted to test it out. But you can see it just has like a subtle sheen to it. It's a really, really pretty color. So I'm going to be testing that out again today and actually like wearing it and, you know, having it on and see what it is like. So I think we're just going to start. Oh, there's one more thing there that I did pick up. I ended up picking up one of their liquid liners because... Again, packaging, I mean, I'm not doing this any justice. I don't know how many times I can say this. This feels really, really heavy. And the inside of the pen is a very, very tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny, like you don't understand like how small this tip is. This is a uh, brush tip applicator, which I love. I'm gonna try to do it on my hand. I don't wanna go too hard on this because I wanna make sure that the tip is still in tact oh that is really nice like that feels like a really nice liquid liner i am super excited to try this so without further ado i think we should just go ahead and get in so let's start off with the blush because i really want to test this i'm a little bit hesitant i might feel like this is a little too light for me and i think this was the darkest one they had in the range so not the most inclusive shade range. Uh, it doesn't usually go very dark, but also keep in mind this is an Asian brand and a lot of the time that's just like their market, which doesn't make it correct, but that's just kind of how it is. So I'm gonna use the brush that it came with. I actually have another one of these brushes that I also got sent with one of their other collections. And at first I was like, that looks like the cheapest, most, you know, throwaway kind of brush ever. But then I tried it and actually it disperses and blends out the blushes so beautifully. So as kind of what I was expecting when I opened this, it's a little too light for me. I feel like it's not the best color. It's a little too sort of 
whitish paste pink even though i'm kind of swirling everything together here i do think that this would probably look a little bit better on someone who is fairer than i am i do have a bit of a tan now so i would say i'm probably between like a a light to light medium right now so if you're light or lighter than that in foundations i think that this would probably look really good on you i don't dislike it i just think that this is going to be more of a like a winter blush color for me because it is a little on the light side so i think i'm gonna go in with something a little bit just darker like on the upper portion of my cheeks here just to kind of i don't know get what i want out of this so i'm gonna take my pat mcgrath palette just gonna use the same brush here this is the palette from um the holiday collection and i'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of this pink one because i just think that it suits my skin tone a little bit more to have something that's just a little more pigmented like i feel like this side definitely looks better than this but then again i like a lot of blush so not everybody will agree but this just makes me feel more confident and happier so that is what i'm gonna go ahead and do i think next we're gonna try the lip product i'm super intrigued by this formula because when i tried it the first time it's a very it's hard to explain it's kind of like a watery serum -y consistency that has a little bit of like a silicone feel to it it's very interesting i'm just gonna go ahead and put on some lip liner this is just bff from colourpop and i'm gonna put the gloss on over the top i have mine in the shade ge05 they're not very good at like putting the name so that it's easy to read on the packaging but i'll show you just how kind of sheer this is And it smells so nice. Like this is a very kind of candy smell, like cotton candy. Is that what I would explain it as? I don't know, but you can even taste it too. So if you don't like kind of products that, you know, you can taste and smell, I don't think you're going to like this, but I feel like it's a very easy to wear kind of lip product that has a little bit of a tint to it, but not, not so much that you can really like see it like it's not this color like it is in the tube on the lips it just provides a little bit of a tint and i think it just it looks really nice it feels super comfortable and i feel like the more i wear this the more i'm going to like it but time will tell because i haven't really been wearing it so i don't know for sure yet but i just have a good feeling about this lip product uh, i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my natasha denona eyeshadow base and we'll get into the eyeshadows now i will say the last eyeshadow palette that i tried from flower nose was sadly a bit of a miss and i don't know what happened with that palette because the first two that i tried from them i absolutely loved the formula and i compared uh, the Rococo one to like very high-end sophisticated brands with a super easy to work with formula that wore really nicely and was just it just felt luxurious I don't know how else to explain it but I just had a really good time with the first two palettes and then the last one was the chocolate something collection I'll show you in a little bit I'm just gonna blend out this primer so the first two palettes that I tried from them was, this was the first one, this is the Incredible Kingdom palette. This is the one that they sent me in PR. I did get to pick it up myself from the palettes that they had on their website. And yeah, it's a boring neutral palette with a couple of pops of color, but the formulas in here are really nice. Um, you can definitely build up the pigment to be true to pan, but it is more of a buildable, like easy to work with formulas. Uh, the shimmers are sort of that sheer kind of dry formula with like a lot of sparkles to it where you can build it up to be opaque. You can use them as toppers. They're really just really pretty on the eyes. So I ended up really liking that palette and that's why I bought this one, the Steve Rococo palette. And I fell in love with this. I know, again, it's a very boring neutral palette, but there's something about this formula that is just so nice, so easy to work with. This shimmer shade, it is like the most unassuming in the pan, but then when you get it on the eyes, it is like so impactful. It's so sparkly, like, oh my God, like this is the most wet looking eyeshadow I think that I have in my collection. And it's just absolutely stunning. And then I ended up buying the... What is this one called? The Flower Nose, does it have a name on it? Eight color eyeshadow palette, Witch Boutique. And again, packaging really, really cute. And then this is the inside of the palette. I thought it was really fun with a couple of pops of color. Again, a lot of neutral mattes, 
pops of colors and shimmers but i felt like the quality of this was just not up to par like i struggled so much to get a good blend with these mattes and the shimmers were very hard to pick up they they just were way more lackluster like they kind of look the same in the pan but i felt like i wasn't able to get like that oomph out of them that i got with the uh shimmers and the other one like i don't know like they're still pretty but they just didn't blow me away like this palette did so we're gonna see what this one is like i mean you've seen the swatches it's swatched beautifully i'm more curious about the mattes in this honestly because i feel like i'm gonna love the shimmers um this shimmer is definitely more of a topper it's very sheer very sparkly so i'm gonna be layering it over with this one mostly uh, so I think we're just going to go ahead and start. I don't want to do anything fancy with this look. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two mattes in my crease. This one's sort of in the inner corner. And then we'll layer some of these like on the lid and as well as the inner corner. So I think that's going to kind of just be the plan. I just want to see how these perform. So I don't want to do anything like graphic or fancy or, you know, I just want to test them out. So we're just going to start with this shade right here. And I really hope that these mattes are better than the mattes in the other palettes that I tried last time because I I don't know like I really want to love everything from this brand because I think that their aesthetic is just like so satisfying I guess you can call it like it's just so pleasing to look at so this is a very very light transition shade it's not showing up that nicely on me but that's just because it's like almost the color of my skin and in the swatch on my hand it didn't even show up because I am a little bit more tan on my hands than I am on my face so I'm almost surprised that this is actually showing up on my eyes I'm not gonna be like too harsh on the shade but if you are you know darker than me the shade is not gonna show up on you but just something to keep in mind I don't really care if it's a little bit too light because I'm gonna deepen it up with a darker shade anyway but I do wish it was just a little bit darker because I feel like the other shade is gonna be maybe harder to blend out because there is such a stark contrast in color like sometimes it's easier to blend two colors together if they're like a little bit closer together depth wise and I feel like this one is very light and the other one is very dark so we'll just kind of see what happens I just wanted to put it on the eyes to see how it would perform and I mean it's it's going on is blending out I mean you can't really see it but I can see it up close and it's performing well. So I'm next going to go in with this dark uh, brown shade. I'm using my uh, Cinch Beauty EO2 brush. I don't know where the EO3 is. Maybe I brought it when I traveled last time and I haven't unpacked it yet. But this one is like the bigger of the blending brushes. Okay, so so far right off the bat, I feel like this matte formula is better than the one in the chocolate palette so that makes me happy this feels way more like the formula from the rococo palette so i don't know if maybe the last palette was just a bit of a dud or i don't really know what happened there but this is like the formula that i was expecting from them so that makes me really happy and i think i'm really gonna like this palette yeah this is going on super nicely it's got a lot of depth to it it builds up just the way that i wanted it to it's easy to work with it's such a smooth silky formula that I think everybody pretty much is gonna have a good time with and it just looks really nice on the eyes. So like I said, not doing anything fancy. I'm gonna leave some room just like in the front portion of my lid here because I do wanna use the lighter of the blue mattes as well. Just taking the shade underneath my eye as well. I'm not gonna do any fancy shapes with this. I'm just gonna do a very basic eyeshadow shape giving this a little flick on the outer corner because I think that is just very flattering for my hooded eyes and I really like how that shade is performing like this is the flower nose that I have been used to and I feel like their last palette was just a bit of a dud like again I don't really know what happened but I'm glad that I'm not experiencing the same thing with this one obviously you can tell it's looking a little bit uneven but that is just because I haven't worried too much about like the lid portion because I am going to layer the shimmers over the top but I do want to just because they are a little bit of a sheer formula I want to make sure that I have enough kind of base underneath here so that it looks good when I layer the shimmers over the top next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the light blue matte and I'm gonna pick that up with a this is a blend bunny let's see b2 brush 
And this one swatched so insanely pigmented, so I feel like this is gonna be amazing. Wow, yep, yeah, that's really nice. I'm just gonna put this in the inner corner as well as the front portion of my lower lash line. And I am going to layer the topper over this, but I really wanna have that blue base down underneath. You absolutely don't have to do this, but I feel like it's just gonna make the inner corner look even more uh, blue once I put the topper over it. And that's kind of what I want. Like I really want this to be an impactful blue inner corner. That is such a beautiful color. I really like the tone of this. This would be so fun as like a, just an inner corner kind of shade. If you didn't want to do any crease colors, you were in a hurry, you just wanted like a pop of color in the inner corner. I think this would be a really nice shade for this because it's light enough for it, but it's also like bright enough that it shows very nicely. So I'm not being super precise with any of this yet. I just kind of want to get the colors down before I start finessing things. But so far I'm liking this a lot. I'm next going to take some of my NYX glitter primer because with sparkly toppery shades like this, they're just going to perform better and look better on the eyes as well. And I think I'm going to use more of a fluffier flat brush. This one is from Sigma. It's the E27 because I do want to like blend these into the crease and have a really smooth transition with everything. So I'm just putting my glitter primer pretty much all over my lid like as well as a little bit in the inner corner as well. And I'm gonna start with the dark blue shade because like I said, I wanna use the other one as a topper. So I'm gonna pick this up. This one was quite a creamy formula when I swatched it, uh, but it's not like that putty-like formula. It's definitely different than that. And it picks up very nicely on a sticky brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. I'm gonna put this all over my lid pretty much except for the very inner corner where I'm gonna use the lighter of the toppery shades. I'm also gonna take this pretty much all the way out to the outer corner of my eye, layer it over that matte and I'll go over it a bit with a matte after but I really just want this to be on all of my lid as a bit of a smoky like a blue smoky eye and I think that this tone of blue goes so nicely with the very cool toned brown matte. It's almost looking like a gray toned brown. If I had to explain it, that's kind of how it looks, but this is such a pretty color. Oh, it like goes perfectly with my shirt too. If you're wondering about this shirt, I got it from Amazon not very long ago. I can link it down below if you want to check it out. It's basically just like a velvet t-shirt and I think it's just really, really cute. I'm also impressed by the fact that I'm not getting any fallout with this shade and I find that usually with like kind of black based toppery blue shimmers, I get a lot of fallout. I don't know what it is, it could just be me. I also go in very, very heavy with my shadows and I pack on a lot and I never tap off my brush. So it's probably partly my fault, but I just find that with these colors, a lot of the time I get a lot of fallout and I haven't found that to be the case yet. So I think that looks really nice. Now for what I feel like is going to be the star of the show, I'm gonna take the topper shade, which is this very light blue shimmer. And this one is also a very creamy formula, but also maybe it's a little bit putty-y, like I do have to kind of dig my brush into it, but it's not the kind of formula that's gonna get hard pan. It's more of like a, it's like a super shock shadow. Like that's how I would explain the consistency of that. It's kind of like a ColourPop super shock shadow. Okay, that is exactly what I, oh, I love that. Exactly what I was hoping for. I'm just gonna put on like a shit ton of this, excuse my language, but this is gonna go everywhere. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. This palette is giving me exactly what I was looking for out of this palette. This look, I think this is so pretty. Okay, I really, really like this. I think that's all I wanna do for this. I'm just gonna kind of finesse the edges of everything a little bit here, just with the mattes before I finish off. But I think this is all I wanna do for like the actual shadows. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on some, something in my waterline. I'll probably use Prance from ColourPop and just some lashes and I'll come back and show you the look. But this is just, oh, it's so pretty. It makes me so happy to look at. Like I said, all I did was some blue in my waterline, some mascara and some lashes. Uh, my lashes today are the Daydream Lashes from uh, Brights. I really like them. I think they're beautiful. I mean, to be fair, I like all of the lashes that I 
pretty much have been wearing lately because I know I like them, so I keep wearing them, so that makes sense. <laughs> As for my thoughts on all of these, um, I am so happy to say that I feel like their quality is back on track again. I really don't know what happened with the chocolate palette. Let me know if you bought anything from that collection and if you have the same thoughts that I did because I feel like there's a huge difference in quality, especially with the mattes with this new collection than there was in the past collection. So yeah, I don't really know. But honestly, this eyeshadow palette is everything I wanted it to be. It is so beautiful. It gave me exactly the look that I was looking for. I did also use the liquid eyeliner and I have to say that I like it so far. Uh, where did I put that? <laughs> me trying to find stuff. I put it right in where my eyeliners belong because that is where it will be because this is a really, really nice eyeliner. I can't speak for like the longevity of it or like how quickly it's going to dry out, but it's super precise. It's very, very thin. If you're someone who likes to do very subtle eyeliner, um, I think you're gonna love this. If you like if you like doing like huge giant wings, this is gonna take a little bit too long to like do that with. But if you just wanna like even just line your upper lash line without it really looking like you have a thick liner on, this is gonna be great. Uh, the only thing I wish was that there was like a pump in the cap, which there isn't. It does have a shaky thing in it. So I'm just going to store it upside down and kind of hope that it doesn't like dry out and that there's enough product in the tip to disperse enough every time I use it. But I didn't have any problems with it today. It looks nice and black. It went over the shimmer really nicely, which a lot of the time I find with liquid liners when I have like a shimmer that is this sparkly and this intense. Sometimes my liquid liner, especially if I'm using something I'm not used to, if I'm not using my DHC Cosmetics one, which is my favorite, if I'm using a liquid liner formula that's different, it will sometimes look a little bit sheer over the top of like really sparkly eyeshadows, but this one looked really, really black. It's not like a super matte black. If that's what you're looking for, it's more of a shiny black, I guess you could call it. I don't really know. It's just not matte but I really like it so far. I'm very happy that I ended up buying it and I can see myself using it a lot. The only thing in the collection that I'm not like the biggest fan of is honestly the blush because the color of it is just not perfect for me right now. Like I said earlier in the video, I feel like maybe uh, during the winter when I don't have any tan at all, this is going to be really nice. If you're fairer than me, you're gonna love these blushes. I think they're beautiful. I really like their blush formula. I have, I think three of their other blushes which I always end up picking up like the darkest ones in their range. Uh, and I find those usually work pretty well for me, but I wish they could come out with like some deeper shades too, because like I said, it's not the most inclusive shade range. And I do wish that they had, you know, blushes that would suit everybody because I feel like if I can get away with the darkest shade in a range, like there's something wrong. <laughs> like that's just not how it should be. But I do think it's a really nice formula. The lip product also is really interesting. It's so comfortable. I don't feel like it's gonna be a very long lasting product though, because I did put on just a little bit more right now because I wanted it to be like a little bit pinker than it was because I felt like I didn't put enough on the first time, but it looks really nice. It's super comfortable. I love the way that it feels on the lips. It's very kind of like balmy, but still it's not lip glossy at all. Like it really doesn't feel like a lip gloss. It definitely feels more like a, a liquidy lip balm. I don't know if that's a way to explain it, but that's kind of how I feel like it feels. And I really like it. And I really like everything else in this collection too. But the eyeshadow palette, would highly recommend. I mean, this is so beautiful. So, so, so pretty. If you're looking for um, these kind of colors or if you're even interested in the other palettes from this collection, I'm sure those are going to be great as well. So yeah, would highly recommend checking out the brand in general. Just stay away from the like chocolate palettes because I don't feel like those are good quality at all. So that's going to be my thoughts on this collection. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some more flower nose content, I will make a playlist. I'll put that on the screen. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.